right, so we're here at the premiere of Superman Batman Apocalypse in New York with the lovely Andrea Romano. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, you have basically shaped decades of <laughs> Warner Brothers animation. I have? You have. You have. You have shaped it into, into what, you know, I grew up with and, you know, my young cousins have grown up with. You know, you know what kind of undertaking is that to do, to, to be responsible for the direction of so many characters? You know, I think if I think about that too much, I'll get intimidated and frightened and I'll get frozen. I just think about it as the each individual job. And it's, it's, it's like whatever you do every day. You get up, you take a shower, you brush your teeth, you go to work, you navigate traffic, you do your job. It's just um, each individual project that comes to me, I try to bring the same energy to, the same enthusiasm to, try to let that enthusiasm be effective to everybody else so that they all want to be, you know, a part of it and um, and keep the energy flowing along lines and, and just keep the quality up and make sure everything is still new and fresh and even if I use the same actors, which I'm lucky to get right. as often as I can, um, to keep something new and different for them as well so they're not just doing the same thing over and over again. Now, uh, with a project like this, you get this stable again of Kevin Conroy and Tim Daly and, you know, what is it like coming to a new project with them, you know, again, at, even after just the, the last two that you guys did together? Uh, it's like coming home always, working with Tim and Kevin. They know the characters so well. As soon as they open their mouths in the rehearsals or in the recordings, you just go, oh. Yeah, that's good. That sounds good. And so it's a joy to always work with them anytime I can. It makes me very happy. You know, when I'm given the job, the, the DC Comics and Warner Home Video and Warner Premiere will say, we would like these different, we like new actors, whatever. And I'll say, well, can we talk about Kevin Conway and Tim Daly? And sometimes they'll say, yeah, okay. And sometimes like, no, we really want this to be different. So I... I have the option to say yes, I'll take that job, or no, I don't want that job. I always say yes because I love the DC world, and uh, and I'm lucky when they let me use Tim and Kevin because they're so good. Now the story is actually the story of Supergirl's arrival, and you get to work with the the you know cult classic favorite Summer Glau as the voice. You know, why why is it that? Supergirl is not the focus in the title, perhaps. It's marketing. Yeah. It's marketing. They've discovered, uh, DC Comics and, and uh, Warner Home Video have discovered that uh, projects like Wonder Woman, which was a terrific piece, really, really nice, lots of male characters in it, it didn't sell well. And they think it might be because it's a female titled piece. And so they just decided not to put Supergirl in the title. It certainly could have been called Supergirl. If it helps get more people to come and buy it, then great, that's fine. It's just, it doesn't make the work that she did any less valid or good or, you know, it, it's still as, as good a piece. It's just got a different title. And Summer's good, right? She's terrific. She's so great because she's vulnerable and yet really strong. And that's what the character needed. She's really good. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Very Thank nice you to meet time. you. Thank you.